Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to show you how to program the ICC ID into a RSIM 14 or an RSIM 12 and what currently is working with them as of iOS 13.1. Um, I'm currently playing with a factory unlocked phone in order to edit this ICC ID because there's really no way to do it. You can always take the original phone. Uh, in this case what we're going to be unlocking in this video is a phone from Sprint Boost. You can take a Sprint SIM card and perform pretty much the same thing I'm about to do. Now when you insert the SIM with the RSIM, it should come up with a menu. If you've already programmed it, um, then obviously it's not gonna come up. If you've not programmed it, it might get kicked off by the activation screen, many different things. Now this is with the RSIM inserted. You go to settings, you go to cellular, and then you look for SIM applications. There's going to be your edit ICC ID there for the RSIM 12 or RSIM 14 or RSIM 12, and that's where you edit the ICC ID. You'll hit send, it'll do the accept noise, and now you can pull that out and put it into the next phone, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, the current thing that's been happening for a little bit now, and it's not just iOS 13.1, but this just confirms that it is actually still thankfully working on iOS 13.1, as you can see right there, is you're only able to use an AT&T carrier type company. So that's AT&T, Cricket, Net10, and that's it. If you're trying to use this with T-Mobile, Metro, Sprint, Boost, Verizon, any of those guys, it's not gonna work at all. You have to use something that uses AT&T towers. So in my case, if, you, if I didn't show it already, there's my AT&T SIM card that I use, and we're just gonna go ahead and put that sucker right in here. Now again, it should come up with a menu. If again, the menu doesn't come up, da 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 da, there's the menu, but see it got kicked off by the activation screen. That's why we have to use an unlocked phone to get the ICC ID programmed a lot of times. Now going through this, I should just be able to hit continue and it should just go right into working for AT&T. And again, this is the only thing that works with RSIM 12 and 14 right now. If they come up with something newer and a better ICC ID, um, great, then we'll be back into business with setting people up with those other carriers. But the drawback is right now, if you it, you have to be using AT&T or something that uses AT&T towers. Um, Straight Talk's another one. Um, there, there's a there's a bunch. I, there's probably like five, six, seven different ones. I want to say Consumer Cellular last I knew used AT&T towers. Um, so there's a bunch out there. So just uh, look for what you can, see what you can't find out. 13.1 RSIM 14 does work on iOS 13.1, but again, you just have to be using an AT&T type company. Um, that's it. Uh, if, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you guys need anything, got any questions, please feel free to comment uh, in the comment section, um, and have a good one.